momentum, drive, purpose, dedication, a bold vision. RVA is standing tall and the world is noticing. The Jones administration has a bold vision for the future and eyes on the big picture. There is a vibe in the city of Richmond that we're on the cusp of great things. The city is growing, the city is abuzz, it's alive. Uh, our best days are in front of us and not behind us. And we recognize the need to keep this going. Businesses are opening, the restaurant scene is exploding, and downtown is cool again. We envision this city, as many of our partners envision this city, as being an entertainment hub, a growing restaurant scene, uh, a center of productivity, and a good place for people to live, work, and, and play. Construction cranes dot the skyline, and underused properties are seeing new life. Uh, I also want to just uh, give you a few numbers here, uh, 812 construction jobs, over 1,600 permanent jobs when the building is completely leased up, 40% minority participation, cumulative tax revenues of $117 million over the next 30 years. So to me, it's a win-win situation that makes an awful lot of sense. The Bon Secours Washington Redskins training camp was completed and the three weeks of camp were a huge success on and off the field. And even after training camp was over, the excitement continued as our youth took the field. We're proud to present to you today the Bon Secours Washington Redskins Training Center. It is done. And we're so happy. And this has all been directed toward our goal of stimulating tourism, uh, job creation, and new investment, particularly in underserved areas. The Atlantic 10 Women's Basketball Championship is coming to Richmond, and Richmond 2015 is right around the corner. Welcome to the RVA. We're very happy to be able to make this announcement today, and we look forward to welcoming your teams. We look forward to welcoming your coaches and your fan base to the RVA, and we know that you're going to have a wonderful time in the new Richmond, Virginia. So this is one of those events where it requires that you have vision, uh, that you're able to see beyond today and able to see uh, the promise of tomorrow. And so all of those persons who have signed on are people who see uh, the great future that our city and region has. Our economic impact study suggests our state and region will generate nearly $160 million in economic impact. That's a pretty good return on our investment. RVA is in the fast lane, and the Jones administration wants to make sure that everyone's got a chance to ride. We have about $20 million uh, in uh, HUD 108 uh, funds that we would like to provide for gap financing. And I think that this is important because it says that we're in partnership, that we recognize that government cannot do this all by itself, and we recognize that we need public-private partnerships in order to build a robust and energetic city of Richmond. My administration uh, has spent more than $39.4 million with minority and emerging small businesses. It was gratifying to me because we have set as a goal that we would make sure that as we climbed, as we grew, we would lift at the same time, that we would make sure that individuals who had not been included before will be included now. RVA, the world is taking notice and your hometown is in the global spotlight. And while the Jones administration is looking at the big picture, don't think that doesn't include the picture from your window. During 2013, Fire Station 13, the East End Library, and Bell Mead Community Center were renovated, and the Richmond Animal Care and Control Shelter is under renovation. There have been major upgrades at the Juvenile Justice Detention Center, the Water Treatment Plant, and the Bird Park Reservoir. And the new, state-of-the-art Martin Luther King Jr. Middle School just opened and is the third school to open within the last 13 months. This is a red-letter day in the city of Richmond as we prepare our young people for a brighter future and our job is to prepare an environment in which they can learn. RVA's streets have also seen upgrades with the paving of 129 lane miles. Almost 13,000 potholes were filled and 145 new street lights were installed. Bike racks and bike sharrows continue to be installed across the city. There were also 31 intersections in downtown that had pedestrian countdown signals installed and over 2,300 trees were planted across the city. 
Public Safety has also had major investment with the naming of a new police chief, 23 new officers graduating, new police vehicles hitting the streets, and 17 new firefighters graduating. And with this, Richmond has seen another year of record low crime numbers. Reflective of our efforts to ensure that our public safety officers have the right support and equipment, we're providing these uh, cars for the officers today. It has been a pleasure during this administration to be involved in upgrading the facilities of uh, our firefighters and making our community safer. Uh, we're buying new fire trucks. We're renovating uh, a new fire station approximately every year. But while Richmond is experiencing an economic boom, many of her residents are missing out on this renaissance and are stuck in poverty. The Jones administration is laser focused on reducing these numbers and improving the lives of all of Richmond's residents. Sometimes I hate to have to mention this, but it's extremely important that we recognize that while all of these wonderful things are happening, we still have a city where uh, a quarter of the residents here live in poverty. And we have to address that. And so I want you to know that the Anti-Poverty Commission report uh, has not been sitting on a shelf, but we're ready to focus on some solutions. Uh, an implementation plan has been devised to move forward with the pursuit of each of the five major recommendations. Those five areas are workforce development, economic development, transportation, uh, education, and redeveloping public housing uh, without displacement. The mayor also has made job readiness and training a top priority. The number one uh, recommendation of our poverty task force was this uh, workforce innovation notion and uh, we are able to stand where we stood a couple of months ago uh, as we began this work and now it is completed and we're here today to cut the ribbon for a state-of-the-art training facility the city of Richmond Center for Workforce Innovation. This is a great day isn't it? And as everyone knows, education is the key that unlocks all doors. And with a new middle school open, libraries being renovated, and the Mayor's Youth Academy supporting the next generation, there is no limit to the potential of our youth. Educating our children is a clear priority for the city of Richmond. We have to make sure that every one of our young people has an equal chance to have success in the world. You are the key to the city's future. And it is my hope that you will continue your training, your education, go off to school. And I'm hoping that many of you will come back to the city of Richmond. And now, as the Jones administration continues to keep an eye on the horizon, an undeniable opportunity to revitalize and reinvent part of this great city is upon us. The Revitalize RVA plan is the key to continuing the economic development momentum that has engulfed RVA. It will bring life, history, and needed amenities to an often overlooked Shaco Bottom. And it will open up underused property on the boulevard for massive redevelopment with tax revenue and job opportunities that our city and residents desperately need. By developing Shaco, by developing Shaco in an innovative and historically sensitive way, we'll be able to unlock two of the most valuable pieces of land on the East Coast generate nearly $200 million in new net tax revenue. Now, what, what you need to hear is that this money can be used for public schools. This money can be used for transportation. This money can be used for public safety. And this money can be used to continue to make Richmond a tier one city. And as Richmond's star rises, we must not forget that volunteerism has always been the engine that drives this capital city. Citizens and residents and organizations just like you stepping up and leading RVA forward. And we want to encourage you to reach out of yourself and do something for someone other than your family. And so today I want you to think about what you can do to help keep that momentum going all year long. Think about reading to a child, helping a neighbor, thinking about giving blood, donating food. Thank a police officer or a firefighter. Uh, the options are limitless. We've always said that Richmond was a city on the move, but the momentum is building and Richmond is a train that just can't be stopped. Hop aboard, experience the Renaissance, 
and look through the lens at a bold new Richmond.